you won't know until you try. Well, I guess I won't know then. Hello, students. I'm uh, Dr. Dewell. I, I am a genetic scientist. For several years now, I've been trying to genetically engineer a, um, a, a hybrid spider, a uh, specimen that um, uh, contains all the elements of uh, several different species, uh, uh, all in one specimen. And uh, I, I hope one day to, uh, to create a serum, uh, which would be the, uh, uh, the cure for all of uh, mankind's illnesses. Uh, now, this, uh, this hybrid species uh, that I'm going to show you today has been subjected to several different types of uh, radiation at uh, several different levels, and I'm here to tell you that its powers and abilities have been magnified fantastically. So, yes? So, uh, well, what happened if this spider, like, bit somebody? Well, well if, if this particular spider were to bite somebody, I suppose, logically, they would turn into a superhero and fight crime. Uh, alternately, the only other thing I can think of is that they would die slowly and, and painfully from radiation poisoning. And uh, frankly, <laughs> my money is on the latter. <laughs> but if one was to become a superhero, could they do cool stuff? Could they walk on water? You know, like spiders do. I uh, don't think that spiders have the ability to walk on water. Well, I saw a spider walk on water once in my backyard. If we were to genetically mutate that spider that you saw in your own backyard walking on water, then yes, he'd be able to walk on water, I guess. All right, now. Um, has any of this radioactive exposure had any side effects on the spider? You know, like negative side effects? Well, <laughs> it's rather amusing that you just asked me that. It's kind of embarrassing, but... Uh, as a matter of fact, yes, I would have to say that the uh, greatest side effect that the uh, radiation and, and all the experimentation has had on this particular spider is that he has become more uh, prone toward procreation, more uh, amorous, or as you kids like to put it nowadays, horny, baby! <laughs> Hey, Porker, you could use some of that. <laughs> Great, thanks for compromising my education. I'm trying to learn something. <laughs> okay, everybody, settle down. Now, back to the superhero thing, okay? Could uh, a superhero, like, uh, get laid a lot? Why didn't you ask your teacher that? Well, if it could, <laughs> then Porker could use a bite from that spider. <laughs> Could the superhero, you know, spin in circles really fast? You know, like, like spiders. I don't know! Enough with the questions already! Now let's get back to my experiment. Okay. Uh, at this point, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you all Specimen X. Or as I like to call him, Randy. Motherfucker! This is going to be my ass! <laughs> I, 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 I'm afraid that the uh, lecture is going to have to be cut short today, and if you would all kindly leave the museum very slowly and watch where you walk for the sake of Christ, because there's a spider running around here loose. That's where